Hello, welcome again to this wonderful podcast. I believe you've been having an amazing time with us. So we're picking up from where we left off the last time about the way sons think. How does a son think? Now, sons don't think like slaves. Simple? All right, but let's get a little bit deep into it. Slaves will say, okay, when I serve, servants will say, when I serve, then the master will give me X, master gives me Y, master gives me Z because I serve. Now, slaves will say, um, so master loves me because, you know, I cut the field. Master loves me because I did a good job. Sons will say, I was born by this man. He's responsible for me. So how many of us parents would, you know, say to our son, you know, because you didn't do well in your exam, I'm not paying your next school fees. Now I know a number of parents do say that, but the truth is that's your child. You're responsible for the school fees, your responsibility. Parents owe their children things. Servants have to work to get the thing. It's a mindset. So Jesus says, no, you need to think this way. Luke 11, 11 to 13. If men being evil know how to give good gifts to their children, how much more? So men understand, I've got to take care of my children. Now, Jesus told a story about the prodigal son. He asked for the inheritance and walked away from home, squandered it. He's coming back. What should the daddy say? Daddy should say, hey, get away from my life. I don't care about you. But daddy says, that's my son. He's got to come back. He's dead. Now he's alive. Now his other brother, good guy serving the father, said, daddy, you didn't even give me the smallest gold in this place to kill, to eat, to have a party with my friends. Daddy said, all that I have is yours. Now, let me tell you something most of us really didn't understand or maybe might not have noticed. When the boy leaving the house said, give me my inheritance or give me what belongs to me, the father divided it to both of them, meaning he gave the boy his, he gave the elder brother his. So daddy, elder brother, all the servants in the house were living on the elder brother's property. This other guy comes back after squandering it and the daddy kills the goat. Whose goat? Elder brother. Throws a party from whose property? Elder brother. Then the elder brother says, but I'm serving you. Give me something. So many times we think, okay, I need to come to God and say, I'm doing something. God says, no, I gave birth to you. All that I have is yours. So Romans 8, 17 says you are an heir of God and a joint heir with Jesus. The same Romans 8 tells us in the 32nd verse, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things. He says something your faith is out for. Yes, it might not show up today, tomorrow, next morning. I think maybe God doesn't love me. That's why it's not coming. No, only the devil will try to keep things away from you, not God. Psalm 84, 11 says, no good thing will he withhold from you. So you, by faith, need to lay demand on all that God has made available and say, I have the spirit of sonship. I refuse to address God like a slave. I refuse to refuse to petition him like a servant. I receive healing, protection, provision, all that is mine. I take it now in Jesus' name. Amen. See you next episode.